Uh, we've got a new Necromunda thing. It's a jet bike. Boom. I love it. It's a cool model. It's got loads of different, different gun types, different pilots. It's pretty fun. It looks like you could very easily put an orc on here. Oh, yeah. And use it as like a death copter or something. 100%. Like, um, it looks super orky. Just, I, I think they look super rad. I really like them. Cool bit of design. It looks very 40k. Mm. Super good. Doesn't fit the law super well. I guess they've retconned the law. Because it used to be that like jet repulsion hover bike technology was like super rare and reserved only for the most elite exclusive units. Necromunda. Just common gangers. Does common gangers have it now? It's fine. You know, law, law changes. Uh, <laughs> We're going to make our peace with that one day. <laughs> if we um, just go to uh, here, one of the other fun things about them, mm -hmm. you've got these guys, and all you need to do <laughs> You're gonna turn them is into just <laughs> add like a... <laughs> yeah, now this is pod racing! <laughs> and some of these... What's that... Um, Space Wolf Chariot. There we go. Do you, Whoa. Know, do you know the one? Instantly amazing. <laughs> yeah, ten what a times team. better. What's his name? Logan. Logan Grimnar. Grimnar. You get, oh, um, this fucking stupid chariot. Oh. Yeah. So just swap out those derpy wolves for these. It would that'd be actually kind of cool. <laughs> no. I'd like it more than this stupid fucking wolf thing. <laughs> yeah. I hate this model so much. It's such a stupid fucking idea. Like, he, he himself looks great. That's yeah. a really cool space marine. Mm -hmm. um, and he's a guy, I don't mind being a bit too fucking wolfy. Like, he can pull Well, yeah, off. he's king of the space wolves. Sure. Um, but being pulled by two wolves, like... <laughs> But it just it doesn't even look like they're pulling it right. Do you know what I mean? It looks like they're running in random directions <laughs> yeah. while strapped to it. Like, yeah. what is with these wires? They're so weird. I hate it. It's fucking dumb. <laughs> fucking super stupid. Well, at least he comes off. You can just have him on foot. Yeah. Like, the model on foot just looks so much fucking better. Mm. Agreed. Then the stupid chariot. It's like, I can't be bothered to walk you boys today, so uh, walk yourselves. <laughs> I'll just tag along behind. Ugh. Oh, man, I was reading about these guys the other day. Oh, yeah. They are very body horror. Really? Tell me. Like, look at this boy. The boy that's inside it. He doesn't look happy, does he? No. <laughs> um, uh, that they... For some reason, big citation needed on this. Mm -hmm. They don't get, like, proper, like, servitored... Like, they leave more of their, like, lobes, lobes okay. intact. They have some brain. But they, uh, you know, they're just, like, a head with, like, a spinal column with just, like, <laughs> some input stuff put in, and they're meant to just be having the, just the worst fucking time. Ooh. Just the horrible just day. Just constantly in pain, but following uh, orders. And doing doing that thing. Um, wow. Came from Robocop wow. 2. A lot like that. Or, do you remember the... Where they have like the the failed Robocops in Robocop 2. Oh yeah. God then they all just execute themselves. It's the one that fucking pulls his own head off. Like yeah. that, that is how I picture these guys. Um God, I wanna see them because that's been years since I've watched that film. There you go, the failed robots. That guy Oh that guy just rips his own head off, doesn't he? Oh my god. One of them shoots himself in the head. I remember that. Uh um we could probably we can probably watch this. I don't think the studio that owns this film is um, in business anymore. Nice. Oh, he got his foot stuck in a hole, Tom. Send it to Help him! Help me, brothers! <laughs> <laughs> I really like the two I know design. I think it's a cool robot. Yeah. Um. He's not as good as Robocop, is he? He's so slow. <laughs> fucking electrocutes himself and <laughs> shoots everyone involved in the project. <laughs> and then it's just like, see ya. <laughs> Bonk. Yeah. <laughs> just the <little>, like... <laughs> warning. Warning. <laughs> oh. is, is this the good one? 
Ah, existence is pain. <laughs> yeah, that. That's what I, how I'm picturing those guys not having a, just the best time. Jeez. Um, very good. Um, but now it's been a year of Warhammer Plus. So all those snipers in towers and all core bosses have been sent out, I assume. And now we get a new model if you subscribe to Warhammer Plus for a year. Before we see the new model, mm. I was watching an Orspex Tactics mm -hmm. video about those snipers are selling for, on average, about £50 on eBay. Oh, that's less than I thought it would be, to be uh, honest. Well, they've been selling for up to, like, £100. Mm. But right now, I think more people have put some up, and so okay. the standard sort of price... Um, it's fifty pounds, and mm. so they were working out postage and this. That actually, if you had have done the year of Warhammer Plus, yeah, with the ten pound voucher, oh okay, you would have actually made ninety p. So there we go, pays for itself. <laughs> Good, <laughs> nice. Oh, well, now you can have these guys instead, who are actually way more interesting than that sniper. I think both of them are fucking amazing. They're brilliant for different reasons. Obviously a bit more niche, but does anyone remember the old White Dwarf cover with this guy on? Uh, it's a White Dwarf 142. Is it? Oh, I've got no fucking idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. White Dwarf Corn Terminator. It is impressive how not only uh, this guy. Bam. Which which issue was he on? Oh, um, I mean, but the model looks fucking spot on. Yeah, like holy shit! Not only have they made it the model look the same, but they've like the paint job they've done. Yeah, also like the shading, the shading, the it, highlights, like it's so nicely painted. It's, yeah, it's, they've made it. They painted it to not look like a regular GW model, but to make it look like a painting. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I really like it. It's very cool, and it is exactly the same, isn't it? I mean. Holy shit, I mean, it's a bit glowy, a bit less grungy. But I think it's a cool model. I really yeah. like him. Um, the fist is fucking stupid. Yeah. But it's fun. <laughs> Just that's how chain fist should be. Cut off two of your fingers. Put this chain fist on. In the middle. <laughs> yeah. uh, the base is finished. <gasps> Fingertips aren't gold. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, you fucked up. Yeah, they did fuck that up, actually. Mm, spot the difference. Wow. <laughs> You'd win a gold star. But yeah, I, I, I like it a lot. I think he looks fucking cool. Mm. I think he's great. Yeah, I guess this guy's got a bigger gun. I do really like his gun. It's fucking huge, isn't it? It's Jesus. so fucking silly. I wonder if they did it originally at that scale and someone was like, uh, we can't make it like it's this. Too it's just too big. Um... Uh, yeah, that's great. Great toy. Mm. Um, and the other one. Yeah, I really, I really like this toy. Um, but the other one, I think, is actually even better. So it's, I don't really care that much about the sorcerer. No, the wizard's fine. And I don't, but I could like, take it or leave it. It's his little familiar friends. Yeah. Um, and they look exactly like the old ones. Should we get, get those up? So there was Armored, Armored Imp. Yeah, let's bring these up because we'd love like, a lot of these models, right? Um, boom. So we got this one at the back, Scroll Imp. Uh, this new one. He's got, like, the same hood and the bank bundle of scrolls. There he is at the back, the Warrior Imp. No, it's, it's this guy. Oh, yeah. No, you're right. It is that guy. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I really like Chaos Familiars. Um, this guy, absolutely great. Like a mimic cauldron? Just, you know... Is that a ladle sticking out of his mouth? Yeah. <laughs> you know, because he's still going to use it as a cauldron. <laughs> if, if, I, if, if I was going to complain about anything, I think Tiny tiny Knight is too big. Oh, uh, maybe. Because if you put him next to a regular-sized person, he's only... He's like Boba-sized. But if they're on 25 mil bases, he's not going to be that big. I think he'll be okay. But he's like, you might think he's just a small person rather than a little imp. He, that guy would be fucking cool if you had a Chaos Warrior army <laughs> and had that as your general in the front rank. Okay. Just like, get behind me, boys! How big a Kragnos rock would you put him on? 
I think just I want him really low <laughs> down, with just right. like all the classic old Chaos Warriors, like just massive chunguses, and just yeah. him there, like, Meh, I'm the real hero. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think it would be cool.